My name is Scott Baker, and this is my story. We lived in a little town where I kind of got hung up with some delinquents, and I started smoking at 13, and just made some bad decisions in my life growing up. In 93, my grandpa died, and it really tore me down, took me to a bad place. And then in 01, my mother passed away while I was in Florida working a job. And that was the hardest thing I'd ever had to deal with. I was in a relationship. We had three children together. Um, at one point, our children were taken away by DFS for unfortunate circumstances. At that point, I had lost my job. We didn't have fuel to get to court dates. We didn't have food to eat. So I had made the decision to write some bad checks. DFS and the court system terminated our rights and me and my ex separated. At that point, I went into a depression where I ended up writing more checks. These checks were for cash, for food, just so I could survive. And my days were not very long. They consisted of mostly sleeping. I couldn't bear to be in the world. I just, there was nights that I just prayed I didn't wake up. I drank, I drank an awful lot just to try to numb the pain and numb the feelings that I was having. I went to Florida to, to escape the familiarity and the hurt. I went to Florida for a few months to just kind of get away and reset. When I came back from Florida, and I just happened to be looking at Facebook Marketplace, and I saw an ad for a job. I called him, and uh, I went out and talked to him for a little bit. He hired me. It was still kind of rough because I was living in my vehicle. He actually talked to me every day about God and got me more interested. I came to church with him one day. I came to church to Mountain Movers. Bruce and AJ had continuously invited me to church, religiously invited me to church, and I finally said yes. When I came in, I never felt more at home than I had anywhere else. There's such a feel of the Spirit here. And after that first day at church, I gave my life to Christ started reading, I started studying. Then I found out about life groups and I signed up for both Tuesday and Wednesday nights. And it's, it's never been this good of a life for me. Hell, from that point, I started feeling that there was actually hope for me again. It was such a dramatic life change. I went from de being depressed all the time to smiling and happy and nothing can bring me down. After attending Mountain Movers for six months, I was coming back from Springfield and I got pulled over. Uh, I ended up having four warrants, past warrants from the checks that I'd written. I went to jail, I got a Bible, I read it every day, six, seven, eight hours a day sometimes. There was a gentleman that had come in that had wanted to die because he found out that he had bone cancer. From seeing me and my diligence and my faith, the last day before I got released, this gentleman decided to give his life to Christ and change his life forever. Even though all the bad had caught up with me, I was sitting in a jail cell feeling useless. It was his time to use me. My name is Scott Baker, and I'm here to tell you that God is still in the business of moving mountains. Every decision we make has a consequence. God can take the bad decisions we make and turn them into good situations.